Okay, so I was just waiting for the 130 data to come out as well. So that's now out. It's no shock for me anyway that uh, there was a quarter percent increase. I know uh, we looked this morning on Forex Factory and that was showing it left in line, but there, there was uh, certainly uh, some of the more serious players um, suggesting a quarter percent increase this time and we, the money markets had priced in three quarter uh, well, 75 percent chance of a quarter percent increase so there we go we got it now um, I did suggest we might get a pop and drop we, we didn't really get much of a pop um, a very small pop in fact it was just there we go a little list of pops there are um, and then it dropped uh, and pretty much as expected and it's fallen since now some some key factors there which are quite key is uh, growth has been uh, forecast lower a lot lower than expected uh, for both next year and the year after uh, the year after slightly less but lo next year i think it's about one percent less it's, it's quite a significant number uh, so growth is unexpected they, they they also mentioned that this this rate sustained will probably do do it so what we should probably instead of seeing uh, decreases or reductions in interest rates uh, coming into next year it's probably that they're going to have to hold them longer rather than putting them up higher at this stage and it's probably a quite prudent white manner to be fair uh, because they're showing that they're already choking the economy anyway moving on so at, uh, 130 then we got the US data came out that all came out pretty positive uh, there was uh, the, the headline PPI data year on year and month on month were well ahead of expected so it's inflation is still pushing up we saw inflation yesterday on the CPI data the consumer price index data pushing up we've seen initial jobless claims there um, doing pretty well as well not quite as bad as expected which suggests that the job market is still strong uh, that we saw also well um, yeah continued job losses call retail sales that's what I was looking for retail so retail sales coming in better than expected so all in all um, quite a lot of positivity there for the US which is pushing a dollar up of course against everything so let's look at the markets what's happening and what's going to happen well I don't know what's going to happen because we in a few minutes Lagarde will be speaking and she could turn these markets completely around um, <laughs> they have this habit of saying one thing in a statement and sometimes tr counteracting them or looking at what's happening to the euro and thinking oh we didn't really want that um, and uh, you, you see a reversal looking at the dailies then at the euro it's certainly broken down the four alley was the key thing I was looking at this I drew some lines on this morning um, you can tell when I'm bored I put lots of lines on charts anyway um, it was consolidating it did its little pop and then it's it, then it's big drop now how for how much further can this go uh, I guess we need to look at the the bigger picture here but we're into some quite key support here we have got uh, Lagarde speaking in a short while so I wouldn't go rushing into doing anything from where we are at the moment look to see if it uh, breaks down some more we've got tomorrow and the next day we, yeah, we've got some days to trade it this is this is you know quite a significant um, meeting and we've seen some significant data in from the US there and over the last couple of days so we could see this euro selling off some more so it's really a case of well if she does manage to talk it up um, we'll look to see uh, if there's uh, opportunities to short but um, it could be we need to wait until tomorrow now um, just going across a couple of these other majors uh, the pound finally on the dollar strength there we've seen the pound just breaking my pivot line uh, this morning it came back to it tested it but it's now broken that level uh, looking softer um, it's also from a four alley point of view this sort of head and shoulder pattern although it's ugly now um, what's there it's it's broken that to the downside it sort of tr would have triggered the, the trade from that point of view um, I kept out of the markets because of US data coming out as well this morning but uh, be patient um, if something may set up this afternoon got the dollar yen pushing back up again um, again we, this is so close to its prior highs there'll be buy stops sitting above those um, there, there could be a bit of a field day running on um, as we push up towards that level Aussie, Aussie dollar um, I, 
not really done too much seeing a bit of a sell-off here no, nothing to be mentioning on those currencies not a lot else there I was looking at the pound CAD this morning well that eventually went uh, but um, uh, yeah it's just just gone so not not a lot to add to that it just sort of uh, anyway there we go pound <laughs> pound yen um likewise it was sort of look at looking soft it didn't have the right sort of uh, risk reward in terms of where i was looking for it um it did actually break a bit lower than i i, I expected and it has come back to this sort of level of support down here though and is currently having a bit of reaction so not a lot to do with what's there i think it's well worth waiting for the U euro data to be out and done with um, and then we can see uh, where we go from there. Okay, right. I'll catch you later. I'll put some notes on the on the boards if there is anything else to add.